foundations are the first of five key stage inspections carried out in the construction of every new home. Here we're working with traditional construction techniques. We have a trench fill, mass pour, concrete foundation. It's imperative during the foundation stage that we dig line and level and we ensure that everything is done appropriately and to the building control standards. The main points that we need to take into consideration with our foundations is that we have an engineered design and we are working to building control standards. The NHBC are here to ensure that we are working to those standards, but they will also check on dig depths, they will check on datum levels, and they will make sure that we are following the engineer's design. For every key stage inspection, Red Row site managers have available to them the Red SMI site manager inspection application. On the iPad, it allows us to access this application and in the field have available to us dig permits, foundation levels, and all the necessary information to ensure that foundations are formed line and level and without defect. The substructure foundation is the second key stage inspection with the uh, NHBC. What we're looking for at this key stage inspection is that the internal drainage is formed to levels, that we've got substructure brickwork and blockwork fully pointed, uh, cavities are clean, brickwork ties are in the appropriate places, that we're following all building control standards. This key stage inspection itself, we're almost setting the stage at this point because like with the foundation, we're not now going to go back on this. Everything's done, dusted, polished down. They can say, with one look, that's great. The superstructure build stage involves uh, vigorous inspections throughout from when the bricklayer starts to when the bricklayer will start this superstructure. They'll be expected to uh, follow the 201 and our 601 drawings and 602 drawings. Uh, and that will give all the dimensions of the brickwork. Site managers are expected to follow the good practice guides. Good practices such as uh, protecting the cavities, brick layers using some timber, keeping the perimeter noggins all clean for mortar droppings. Also the Edgar flooring that we use, it's unlike Caber Deck, it is a better quality product. Uh, we ensure all the glue is around all of the joints and over the nails. And the site manager will inspect full perp joints uh, inside and outside of the cavity. Um, to make sure that the tyres are at the correct spacings to meet uh, building regulations in an HPC. So this is the next uh, key stage inspection, this is called roof carcass. Sometimes the NHBC would like to see it at this stage for a superstructure inspection so that they get to see and demonstrate exactly that we're following uh, the best practices and that we're meeting all of their regulations and requirements. It's at this stage, as you can see here, that the roof carcass and truss are part constructed, so there's a lot more to finish. Um, but the site manager will be checking things like the bracings in the correct position, the lateral restraint straps built in correctly, that the wall ties are correctly installed, and that the cavity socks that are in or around the perimeter, um, just before we do that blown cavity insulation, as most sites do, that it won't filter out everywhere. So first fix is just after the roof has gone on. So you, you obviously have your roof put on, gets felted in and tiled, then the stairs go in and then first fix all the stud work, which is behind me now. So all your stud walls, you have all your first fix electrical, all your wires that your sparkies do, first fix plumbing, everything before it gets tapped, so before the plasterboard goes on, basically. The final stage is the most important stage. Uh, it's the most customer-facing stage. It's the part of the build where the customers get to really enjoy their new home and what we do as a job to get it to that point is really important. Week by week we'll be undertaking set inspections from site management team to area build manager and customer service manager, which aims to ensure that the plot is defect free on handover. The final stage sort of begins really with an effective snag of the second fix, getting all your services on, your mains, your gas, your water, electric. It also allows us to look at extras per room which is also another big selling point for what Red Road do, the extras that they offer. It's quite an extensive list, so getting them right first time is, is really important. The fixtures and the fittings on the external appearance, the lead detailing around the bays, the tile hanging. The overall appeal of the property is ensuring that that home is defect free. <laughs>